everybody, Ron from Back in the Fairway here, and Saturday marks the end of the first week on my journey to the USGA Mid-Am. So I wanted to kind of bring you up to speed on where we're at and how this week played out for me. Um, I was really hoping to get out and play at least a round this week, and so far, so good. I uh, made it out Monday and Tuesday this week. It was pretty terrible weather, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, still getting out and just making the swings and, and hitting the shots, um, playing, playing Echo Falls during the winter here. Um, it's a 6,500 yard course, uh, not a lot of super challenging holes, but definitely some twists and turns, uh, primarily plays left, uh, a left course, so a right to left ball flight, uh, a lot of dog legs, a couple of turns here and there. Really the, uh, signature on this course would be the final three holes. Um, 16, 17, and 18 are three really good finishing holes. <clears throat> Unfortunately, when I go out, I'm usually playing the front side because I'm kind of racing the dark, um, or racing the light, whichever way you want to look at it. But anyway, uh, the rounds went very, very well. Um, Monday was a two under 34 on the front side and Tuesday was a one under 35 on the front side. Um, driving the ball very, very well right now. My driving distance with the Wilson Triton is up, I want to say right in the neighborhood of about 10 to 15 yards over my old F5. Um, part of that is the shaft change up as well as the head change up, but the shaft I dropped from the Fujikura Speeder 757 Evo um, in my original F5 down to the Aldolo Rogue uh, 95 MSI 70 series shaft in an extra stiff in the newer F5 and that kind of kind of took my ball flight up a touch and got me uh, a little better ball flight. In the Triton I went to the 60 gram version and that's even gotten the ball flight up a little higher. Uh, the only the only issue I'm having with it right now is a little bit of tiff, uh, the stiffness of the tip. I can feel it flexing as it uh, as it runs. So um, as I swing that a little smoother, that tip flex comes out. But if I go a little too aggressive at it, it, it definitely, definitely has some whip to it. Um, hasn't created a lot of problems necessarily, but it's one of those things where I'm going to have to be very, very conscientious of my speed and, and how I'm using it. Um, the weighting system is great. I've got the heavier weights in the toe and back to get a little higher ball flight and encourage that toe to lag a little bit. That's creating a much straighter ball flight for me and even giving me the ability to hit a cut with it very easily. Um, the titanium plate is the one I'm running right now. I need a little bit extra loft in the winter, um, basically because the fairways are so wet and just not playable in some areas so I've got to make sure I fly over those unplayable areas so uh, so far so good with that one irons I actually took the long irons out with me on Monday um, hit one good three iron and that was the only opportunity I had to hit them um, I may make a couple of uh, trips around the course from the white tees and go irons only to see what kind of distance I can get with that three iron off the tee and start working into that should I replace that for the, the 20 and 23 degree hybrids with the four and three irons again, or if I need to do something a little different there. Um, mid irons are going absolutely fantastic this week. Um, the six, seven, and eight irons, I have picked up an enormous amount of distance off of just, you know, getting a little bit thinner, getting a little bit more flexible. Um, that crazy club I picked up at Goodwill, the weighted one, um, just really, really, really has helped tempo and swing speeds. Um, I can't recommend that enough. I've, I'll put a link to the uh, review that I put or the, the find article that I posted on my on the blog earlier uh, in the description below here so you can go back and check that out and see you know what option will work best for you getting something set up like that. Um, but really, mid irons are just spot on right now. Um, six iron is coming in right around, I want to say about 195. The seven iron has been right around 180-ish. And the eight iron has gone on a hard draw up to 170. 
and normally going about 165 ish um, which takes us down into the gapping on the lower irons and they have been also just stellar I hit a couple of draws with my eight iron that were just stunning that drops us into the nine and wedge that are going about 10 yards further than they were last year and again, this is winter play. This isn't like I'm getting carry and roll on these. This is they're hitting the green and stopping at that distance. So I know the distances are very accurate on them. Um, going into the, the tri wedges, honestly, I have not had a chance to hit many of them. Uh, Echo Falls for me right now with the extra driver distance is pretty much playing driver lob wedge, driver lob wedge, uh, driver, driver, nine iron to wedge. Um, and then, so that's one, two, three, four. Fifth hole is just a seven or eight iron, depending on the wind. Um, sixth hole is a huge downhill. So you hit driver off of that 300 yards, and then you've got a pitching wedge to eight iron in. Um, and that's a par five. And then as you're going to the seventh hole, it is pretty much a eight iron off the tee, stick it. Um, eighth hole is going to be driver sand wedge. That's one hole where I actually did get to hit it. And it, it went relatively well. That hole was extremely breezy both days. So I got the ball up into the wind and it just came back on me. Um, but still, caught the front edge of the green good enough. Uh, ready to roll there. Ninth hole again is driver and lob wedge. So I'm really running into the problems of driver, lob wedge, driver, sand wedge, driver. There, there's not a whole lot of opportunity to hit many of the 100-yard shots or something like that. Most of them are about 50 to 60 yards if you hit a good tee shot. Um, so the lower wedges are doing just fine. Um, I would love to work more on that 100-yard shot, and maybe that's what I will do in a couple of rounds going forward here, is planning my tee shots to leave me that 100-yard shot and see if we can't dial that in and make sure it's all perfect for the spring season. Um, the good news is the weather reports for the extended outlook for this winter are saying a warmer and drier winter than normal, which would be pretty amazing. Um, fortunately, my work schedule will be a little bit more flexible to where I can maybe take some afternoons off and get in nine holes even when it starts getting dark early. We'll see about that one. Um, but overall, um, this week, two rounds in, um, I'm, I'm looking at the clock going, okay, so this is Saturday about 10 a.m. And I'm hoping to get out this afternoon for a third round. If so, I'll bring that up to speed next weekend when I do my video then. Um, but hopefully I can get out either today or tomorrow and then also start next week off with a round or two during the week and continue this forward momentum. This is such a monumental task to try to qualify for. I know it seems, uh, oh, well, you just enter your local qualifier and you do it and you make it and you're all good. But honest to goodness, these are the best of the best golfers around that are 25 years and older. Um, I am at a major disadvantage with age and, you know, fitness level and the amount of practice that I've had over the, the last few years, it's, it's just not the kind of thing that you would jump in and try. Um, the only thing that would be more ridiculous is actually going after the June, the actual U S amateur or, you know, something crazy like U S open qualifying. Um, this is like, you know, just steps down from that as far as the skill level of these players. But at the same time, based off of what I was seeing last year, it's definitely a possibility. So I want to continue to push and make sure this is a priority. And I'll continue to ask for your support and your help. And and just by you know clicking those links down below, you can do an amazing amount of the heavy lifting for me by not making me have to worry about the, the extra financial impacts of this on our little family budget. Um, I know that sounds almost like begging and pleading, but really it's stuff that you already do. If you shop at Amazon, you can hit the Amazon link below. That will automatically register your purchases to give a commission to myself instead of Amazon's pocketbook. 
Um, if you want to purchase a t-shirt or a mug or whatever, there's also a Teespring link down below that I set up with some graphics. I'll be updating those as the journey goes. Um, so you can have the beginning t-shirt. It's going to be running for about another, I want to say two weeks from today. And then we'll roll over to a new design. Um, and then we'll also have the PayPal me link down below that is just for, hey, here's five bucks, go get a bucket of balls. Um, that is that is also a great way to do it. That's also how I'll be funding any equipment purchases and things like that. So um, anything you can do to help is always appreciated. But in the meantime, if you don't want to or can't donate, please just follow along, hit that subscribe button, show me that you're that you're interested in this and that you want to see this crazy guy here actually make it to Colorado next year. Um, just clicking that subscribe button and the little bell that'll tell you when I post a new video and then giving them a quick watch. Huge for the old, uh, yeah, somebody cares. So, <laughs> um, anyway, we'll look forward to seeing you guys soon. I will be back on Wednesday with an update on the journey to 100. Um, so far this week is looking really good. So I'm just going to leave it at that and I'm going to keep plugging away every way I can and continue to keep playing uh, as much golf as I can. So again, this week was a good week. Uh, two rounds under par on the front side at Echo Falls. Um, I'm hoping to try to put together some kind of roundup type thing where I can show you uh, the golf pad GPS system um, scoring maybe over here in the window, as well as learn, you know, kind of highlighting the round and how it went. Um, I know roundups aren't usually the best thing to show on video, but I want to see if I can put together some fun way of doing it for you. So if I can, I'll be posting those soon. Um, I'll do my first two rounds that I shot this week first and then start rolling into closer to live rounds. So um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe below and also let me know if there's any content you'd like to see. Um, put it in the comments below and I'd be happy to take a look. Uh, if you have any questions on the journey or anything like that, you can always shoot me an email at backinthefairway at gmail.com. Thanks so much.